it's something that's confusing to many people. Some people think it's, you know, just a trend or something new or some sort of fad, but none of that's true. It's, it's been around for a long time in many cultures, but it seems like something that's recent to us. I'm talking about transgender identity. And as I talk today about transgender identity, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel as well as to click the bell so you're notified of future videos. I'm not transgender. I'm what's referred to as a cisgender male. Cis is spelled C-I-S. And what that means is that who I understand myself to be, how I move in the world, as well as my sex organs, all are aligned in a particular way that I identify as male. It all is aligned for me. To be transgender is to come to realize that somehow my body isn't defining who I really am, that there is some variance here. Maybe I'm in the body of a woman, but I really understand myself to be a man, or, or maybe I you know, find that I'm somehow more fluid uh, around my gender. You know, th there isn't one way that this happens, but it happens in multiple ways. And that's all part of what I'm lumping together right now as transgender identity. We know from cultural anthropology that cultures around the world over history have defined gender in many different ways. There were Native American tribes who had three and four genders. There were uh, uh, people in Mesoamerica and in India and in the Philippines and various parts of the world who had multiple genders. I've read that some cultures have had seven and eight different genders. I don't understand having multiple genders. That's not part of my worldview. I didn't grow up with that, so it's hard to get my head around something like that. But I am a psychologist, and I do understand from psychology that gender is a construct. It's something that we have a shared meaning for within a culture, that it's not based on, on something that's absolutely true, but it's a shared meaning that changes over time. We know that people have sexual identity based on their sex organs, but our sexual identity and our sex organs are not gender. Those are two different things, and we often confuse them, and we think that they're the same thing when they're not. Gender is about the cultural norm, the cultural meaning, the cultural understanding. So what happened around the world with all these different genders and gender identifications? Well, we know that over time, as colonization happened, and as the Judeo-Christian value system was imposed on, on indigenous cultures, that this idea of a binary gender of male and female was imposed. But that's not that's, a, uh, that's an artifact from the Judeo-Christian tradition that doesn't represent the way things actually are. Gender is something that our understanding changes and evolves. That's been very true around gender roles. Gender roles are different from gender identity. When I was a kid, my mother worked very hard, but she worked at home. She was a homemaker, cared for us, took care of the house. That was her gender role. My father had a career, worked outside of the house, brought home the money. That's how it was. Yes, there were some women who were teachers and nurses, but that wasn't most women. When I looked around at my grade school class, basically mothers were at home. A few had part-time jobs, but it was the fathers who had careers. Today, it's very different. The gender roles have changed. Women are construction workers and truck drivers and attorneys and doctors and judges and political officials. Men are house husbands. They care for kids. They're involved in cooking and cleaning. Our gender roles have evolved significantly in 50 years. Similarly, our understanding of gender identity is evolving. 
And unfortunately, some people are so invested in their understanding of gender identity that they're passing laws and becoming increasingly discriminatory about people who understand themselves differently. But let's think about what that difference really means. It means that someone has thought about who they are. They've considered who they are deeply and have come to realize that they're not the person their body indicates, that there's something that's different about them. Why? Well, that why can be for a number of reasons, and we're not going to go there today. But that's the conclusion they draw. And they draw that conclusion recognizing that there's a great deal of discrimination and many laws being passed against them, but this is who they know themselves to be. As a person of faith, as a follower of the teachings of Jesus, well, and as a decent human being, I think my job is to respect who people discover themselves to be and to show compassion towards them because they've sorted out something difficult for themselves and they deserve support because they have a difficult journey in front of them because of the social norms. As a person of faith, as a follower of the teachings of Jesus, I firmly believe that who each individual is is profoundly good. Yeah, people do all kinds of of bad things in the world, and, and there's that reality. But at heart, who I believe we are, are good. And that within each of us, there is a divine spark, a divine light, an image of the divine that's within us, and that our personal growth and our spiritual growth is really all about coming to understand who we are most deeply that includes understanding that divine image within us. As someone comes to understand themselves as a transgender person, they're coming to understand more of that unique image, that divine spark within them. And I think that's a good and holy thing. And I think that's something that I want to support and celebrate because that is a good thing. Now, you know, if I know anything for sure about life in this world, I know that as I look around planet Earth, as I look at the cosmos, what is most consistent and true is that there's a lot of diversity. It isn't that there's just one kind of tree or there's one kind of flower or one kind of planet or one kind of star. Instead, there are lots of different everything. There's not one way to be a tree or a flower. Planets can have various kinds of atmospheres. Stars can be different colors and different temperatures. It's all a variety. So why would anyone think that human experience would be limited to one thing, to a binary of male and female? In fact, I think it's arrogant to make that kind of assumption. I think it's failing to recognize the beauty and the wonder of the world in which we live. I want to appreciate the goodness of life that's been given to me. Yes, I believe that life is a gift. And I celebrate as people experience that gift within themselves. And it's because of those beliefs that I really want to affirm the unique image that transgender people have found within themselves. And I look forward to our being able to evolve as a culture to be accepting and affirming and loving and compassionate for all the different kinds of diversity that come into this world. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, leave me some comments, share this video with some other folks, and know that I really appreciate the time that you take to watch the videos on Spirituality Beyond Borders. Thank you and have a really great day.